Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> What'd you do? Me? Okay, well that's a popular video. Three weeks later. Couple of absolute must-haves. New hold down bolts and seals and injector seals. Pull that one back out. Never reuse a seal. Should never reuse a bolt either. Can't say I've never done it, but it's not a good idea. Anti-seize, an absolute must. Some kind of grease, uh, anti-seize grease in there. So the injectors come out next time you need them to come out. An inspection mirror for looking down into holes. Gotta have it. Uh, we use our phones, works pretty good. The right size flat screwdriver that will slip into the injector seal and catch it. And also some kind of a hook tool to pull them out if you need to. Uh, we've modified this one to make it both. Also works pretty good for getting in there and pulling out little bits of uh, towel, paper towel down in the hole. Once you turn it a couple times, that barb really gets stuck in there. Injector puller tool, we'll have a link for that down in the description. Must have an inch pound torque wrench. Seven Newton meters is the torque setting, plus 90 degrees. Some good quality Q-tips are important. Plastic soda straws, the big ones don't go down in the threaded hole, so you want a smaller one. So you can get the threaded hole real clean. Injector hole cleaner, not a boring tool, not a seat cutter. It's a 5 8 dowel rod, pre-drill the center of the dowel rod, put a screw in there with some green scrubby on it, cut off the excess scrubby, makes a real nice cleaner tool. This end cut at an angle helps me stuff paper towels down in there and turn it. The paper towel gets stuck in such a way that it actually turns the towel, not just spins on top of the towel. Works really well. <sighs> what else do we need? Lots and lots of shop towels, can of oven cleaner, stethoscope is really good for identifying where the problem is. Lots of pry tools. Hit us up with a question down below and please drop a donation. Buy me a coffee. Keep us rolling. Keep us making more videos. If you like our content here at Florida Van Man, you can support us by liking, commenting, subscribing, and ringing the notification bell so that you get a notification every time we post a new video. In the description box of all of our videos, we also have links to our favorite products, as well as links so that you can get your very own Florida Van Man merch. Your support keeps our vans rolling. So we have warmed up the van now. We're at a good operating temperature, but I didn't want to try to talk over it. Oh, yours is not at injector number one. No, it's not. What are we digging into there? Two or three, or don't we know? Looks like it's coming from three. It did a lot, but it didn't do everything, as you guys can see. That put a good hurting on it though. Yeah. So now I'm gonna pull the wires off and probably the, no, not the top line, just the wires. I'm not gonna open up any fuel rails here or get any, anything open where I can get crud into the fuel system. I'm gonna keep everything sealed up while I'm chipping and sucking. We can pull the wires out of the way and get in there a little bit more aggressively. It looks like injector one has lost the shrouding completely on the wire. Yummy. With that crust built up underneath there, there's no way to release that. So you gotta tap that a little bit and free those up. Sometimes it helps to not have too sharp of a chisel. Yep. To not be the sharpest tool in the shed. That's me. <laughs> Are you getting into trouble? So if you ever sympathized with Herbie, the elf that didn't want to make toys, he wanted to grow up and be a dentist, this will fix you of that. You won't want to be Herbie after this. This is like being a dentist on the abominable snowman's mouth. I'm sorry Santa, I didn't know how good we had it. I'll go back to making toys. I'll make the best toys from now on, Santa.
This man got a lot of coal for Christmas. Yeah, dude. All right, I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. DeVille. Notice I paid special attention to the Torx heads on those stretch bolts so we can get a tool into them. Oh, yeah. Wow, this looks really good now that you've been at it with a pick. Chipping off pretty nice. That pick is pretty handy. Yeah, it is. Let's get a little bent. A nice dental pick right there. So where do you go from here? I think we plug it back in and we run it again. Get things warmed up a bit. Yeah, let's hear it chug again. Chug, chug, chug. Oh, did you see it? I saw it. $10 stethoscope. It comes without the thingy on it. I never put it on because Confirm right there is our leak. Three? Yep. On the front side of three. Coming out, injectors not. Looks like we're on to phase two of uh, cleaning up injector seal leak. We didn't want to do this while the engine was running because you know it might go poof. At least it's lemon scented. That's you know itself. Get some better oven cleaner. I don't know. Doesn't require. Can the, you get better? Well, a better can that doesn't require it to be upright. Now we let it bake. Yeah. Three, two, one. <laughs> really wishing that thing would have popped out of there by now. You gotta say the oven cleaner does a lot more than I thought it would. Yeah? That's good to know. It melts this stuff into a pretty nasty goo. Does a damn good job of melting that goop off, like you said. Mm. Turn the wind clips. We're coming off. All right, now we have an open fuel system. Okay. And we want to try not to contaminate. 14 millimeter, size of the fuel line. I'll take common rail fuel systems for 800, Alex. <laughs> That'd be a good Jeopardy category. That's still gooey. So let's try this again. This is the non-destructive method of pulling injectors? Oh well, yeah, this is just an injector socket. Oh. So we can try to wiggle it. But I'm only getting against the electronics, I'm not getting down on it. It's like the plastic is misaligned for it. Oh. The nut doesn't line up with the nub there. So that's never going to go on. Alright, well, I've never used this little piece of shit before. I guess, why start now? Thought it'd be handy since I found it. So we do it the old-fashioned way. With some leverage. Which is very ill-advised. Don't want to put too much leverage on this aluminum valve cover because it will break. Having to remind myself what I've told a couple people recently, the three most important tools when dealing with Black Death are patience, patience, and patience. And if those fail, I suggest you try more patience. Oof.
Good. Move the injector, not the nut. Not just the nut. No, but it's turning the nut. Uh oh. No, I'm afraid we're gonna have to take the top off. Uh oh. I don't see anything close to that coming off. Otherwise. Keep things as clean as we can. Yeah, we did get that battery operated ratchet we wanted. Yep. We should add it to the uh, ideal, ideal board. Break it loose and then have a little battery operated ratchet to spin it all the way out. Talk about convenient. So that means we move, unfortunately, on to the destructive method here, which does involve taking the solenoid cap off. There's parts in there that we probably can't even see with the naked eye. That's a tiny little spring, as is. Looks like some water's gotten into it at some point. I don't see the ball. This is to help aid disassembly of the injector. Mm -hmm. Now this is the uh, classic slide hammer. No, 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 we don't have a slide hammer. Different beast? Different beast, yeah. So what is this one called? Puller. Professional puller? Yeah. Oh. Thread that in until it doesn't want to go anymore. Take this nut off the top. Oh, this is always a sad day. isn't going to go down like it needs to go down with all that freaking crud in there. Ooh. What size is that? 24 millimeter. Since I've broken so much dust loose down there and pushing this thing down to the bottom, I'm going to take it back off vacuum. What we hope to see is this threaded ring here rising up. Well then, just had to clean it up a little bit. You're gonna need a new one of them. It's bypassed. Yeah, we should have taken that out sooner. The culprit. Into the sun, insert soundtrack from 
Lion King. As you can see, Injector 3 has come out with a whole lot of crud left behind from Black Death. So the next step is going to be fishing the seal out from there as soon as we recover the tool and then doing some more cleanup. But yeah, this is a lot better than it was this morning, that's for sure. And we're taking care of the root of the problem now, so it'll never do this again. Until Tip of the day, we want a straw that'll fit down into the threaded hole. And this one does not. So don't go for the big Wawa straws or the McDonald's straws. Got a Burger King straw here. That'll fit down into the threaded hole. Worst case scenario, cut it. So it'll funnel together. Oh, that's why it wasn't going in that hole, because that hole's got a bunch of crud in it. So we're not going to try to block this whole thing. We're just going to hold it here like this and go poking around. It'll suck plenty of dirt up from there. Got a bigger straw since we have it. We're gonna use it in the injector hole. Put that, that straw all the way down to the bottom. And then put this over top and start sucking dirt. Tool he wants, he makes the tool he wants. Oh. It worked. Good catch. That don't look healthy though. No. It is past tense. That is forevermore an injector tool. Forevermore. Mossy stick. Five eighths dowel rod. A little bit of green scrubby pad screwed onto the end and cut off. Definitely pre-drill the, the dowel rod so it doesn't split out and get too big to go in the hole. Make sure your screw is dead center so it hits the hole for the tip and shines everything around it. You don't get hung up with that on the seat. So we're gonna clean that hole. Because the shape on this end, I can wad a paper towel down there, twist it around, using this to push it around in circles. And I know the paper towel is moving. Get my little injector tool or any screwdriver with a burr on the end to hook that back out. So a good, good oven cleaner. Wow, that's a lot of grime. We're definitely getting somewhere, but we got a little bit to go yet. Patience, patience, and what's the third thing? Patience. Oh yeah, patience. <sighs> okay. So that may not be perfect, but I'm gonna call that good. Well, we have a replacement injector ready to go in. Already has a seal on it. See how that one is kind of rounded on top and very flat on the bottom? That's kind of a new look to me. See how that's kind of rounded? Top and bottom that's kind of rounded. That's what I'm accustomed to. So I'm not sure if this is aftermarket or what. It looks quite a bit thicker to be honest. We've gooped it up with anti-seize. Gonna remove the uh, plastic tip here and carefully set it in a nice clean hole. Careful not to lose that copper seal. Clean up that fuel line before we try to put anything back in it. Just going to start that fuel line on there so that we know everything's lined up. And try not to drop your plastic cap down in there next to the injector because it doesn't come out that easy. Stanley fixed it again. Go, Stanley. Thank you, Stanley. He is a team player. And then some Q tips. Ones that don't do that. We're going to make sure that hole is dry. And fairly clean. That's not real clean, is it?
That's too terrible. I keep taking stretch bolts out and setting them down somewhere, apparently. So I'm gonna put the bolt in the claw, in the claw, in the hole, and scoot it up to it. Wiggle the injector as necessary until she falls in. We do not put anti-seize on the threaded bolt. There's a wax coating, factory wax yellow band on there that is to prevent moisture from getting in. And we should be able to finger tight until the injector is kind of stuck, which we have done here. So good, that means we didn't hit any obstructions. So now we torque it. Seven Newton meters plus 90. So, so right there inside my, my, my thing. We are set to seven Newton meters on the torque wrench, 7.0. And there it is already, that's all it takes. That's seven Newton meters. Now we wanna go an additional 90 degrees. So from there to there. There's been some discussion about an additional 90 degrees now after that. Uh, studies have shown the bolt stretches, you don't get any more torque. So I don't stretch that bolt any farther than I have to. 14 millimeter on the fuel line. I think it's 14 Newton meters. Yep, just like that. Then this comes off. This goes on. One little piggy. Two little piggy. Three, four, and five. I believe we're ready to fire it up. All right, you little red tractor. Fire it all. Fingers. I say it doesn't like that injector very well. Yeah, cool it off. Better already. Happy cameraman right now.